Hi, today I wanted to show you a turbine flow meter. You can see it there. Turbine flow meter. Its a flow rate is 15 to 300 liter per minute. And uh, it has uh, 40 to 20 milliamps. show you there's 24 volt 12 to 24 volt DC it's an input and 400 milliamps is the output signal uh, <coughs> this is a 1 inch BSP and this also 1 inch BSP in and out and while you install this flow meter is very important the direction now if you look at there it says now this side will be a in and that side will be an output then you can measure the right flow and then <coughs> there you have a for a <coughs> sorry this is the test point connection you can check the pressure here and uh, I want to show you a connection diagram <coughs> now this is a connection diagram it says pin 1 is a signal pin 2 is a 0 volt pin 3 is a positive 24 volt supply now in this flow meter like in the last video I show you a pressure transducer it has a only 24 volt supply and then you can get the signal output signal but for this flow meter you must have a 0 volt as well the, you must supply 0 volt as well to this flow meter otherwise you won't get the output so you actually need a 3 wire for this flow meter one will be 24 volt supply 0 volt and the third wire will be a signal that will go to your, uh, your PLC or your display <coughs> And there I have all this little connector. If I can show you, so red wire is a 24 volt supply, and this is a 0 volt, and the green will be a your signal. Okay, I'm just going to connect this to there. So your flow meter is connected. And now I wanted to bring a multimeter. source power source this is again a small 9 volt battery and uh, you see even I'm supplying a 9 volt but it doesn't affect on the output signal on ampere even it's not 24 volt it's only at a 9 volt battery now like I said I am supplying red wire as a 24 volt oh, sorry 9 volt and blue wire is a zero volt those two wires from this battery and this third wire is a signal wire now in last video as you saw I have select this 20 milliampere from the meter I'm going to connect my red rope to a green
is where we will be at uh, in the world. Now you can see there is a 3.96 milliampere. Now actually how it works, I'm sure if I can show you something. Now remember I showed you the, the direction is very important. It flow must go through there to there. Now actually how it works when you when the fluid goes through here there is a little inside a fan this fan turns and it generate uh, it gives the output 4 to 20 milliamps now what i'm going to do i'm just going to blow this thing because i don't have a water here or to show you exactly now these wires are actually moving okay now i'm just going to blow this flow meter and you will see this um, milliampere is gonna change No, because now it stop. It comes back again 3.96 or 7. If I blow again, now see it is going up. So that's how it works. And uh, and there is a very important thing now because this is uh, <coughs> this flow rate is uh, from 15 to where it is 15 to 300 liter per minute now when it reach on 300 mil 300 liter per minute then only it shows you a 20 milliampere so uh, there uh, now you can get the different ranges maybe you have range 15 to maybe 0 to 100 liter per minute in this case when it's on a 100 the flow is 100 liter per minute then there will be a 20 milliampere and uh, in next video we will see how to how to scale this value what it means if it's a 20 milliampere how plc does know what is the what what is the flow rate or what is the pressure now on 20 milliamps or 10 milliamps how plc knows about these things thanks for watching this video